Hello, uh, like you said, my name is Nicholas Peterson. Um, I'm, I'm a designer and developer. Uh, <laughs> developer is should be in quotes. Uh, and musician. Uh, my company uh, name is is Lessis. I build brands, websites, and communication strategies. And um, and recently, I launched two new websites. Uh, one for for my company called Less Dot Is, and uh, and the other was a personal site, just where I could have my blog and some information about uh, music and just kind of a personal place. And uh, it's Nicholas Peterson Dot Is, and. Um, this is where I switched to the browser, and, and this is kind of what it looks like. Um, they, both sites had a very similar brand, and the goal of them was to be very minimalist, very simple, and very clear. And uh, the, the top section has this sort of just really bold typography-based banner that, that just scrolls through you know, some things Nicholas Peterson is, a designer, a developer, musician, working on a new site, drinking coffee, watching Seinfeld, some of the things that I like to do. The, the big picture idea just being, uh, I, you know, this is the personal place where I live. Um, I had been working on this site for a long time, and I, I really liked this cool little typewriter thing. I thought it really uh, communicated the message really well. But below it, I had I had this uh, this section of content down here, and the problem was uh, that I was having is that the typewriter would start would keep typing and it would jump to a new line and then the the content below it would keep getting pushed down and if you're trying to read that it's kind of hard to read because it keeps jumping up and down and I knew it was a bug but I couldn't figure out how to fix it and um, and and so um, launch day kind of came I had a date that I had kind of been shooting for like I wanted to push it out and I hadn't found a solution so I decided to, to push it out and just see what happened see what kind of feedback I got and if it was really going to be a problem and um, and sure enough uh, within about 30 minutes of launching I had a little bit of a Twitter conversation some very friendly people you know tweeted and said hey I know I really love the new site I like that cool typewriter effect but there's a problem I can't read the paragraph below it because it keeps jumping up and down and so and I said yeah Yes, I realize this is a problem. I haven't found a good solution. Here's where the awesome thing happened: is that within a couple hours, uh, the the design and development community in Omaha and just some people I know started jumping in with ideas of solutions uh, for for the for solving the problem. Some of them were design-based, some of them were more development-based, um, but there was a good conversation going, uh, and within just a couple hours, we had a solution. Uh, someone in this room <laughs> uh, helped me figure, uh, write a little bit of code that was pretty cool because uh, basically it figured out that whenever I scroll down to a certain position, the typewriter you would see would just stop and then uh, and you could read the rest of the content. If you scroll back up, it starts again, if you scroll back down, it stops wherever it's at. Great solution, solved the problem. It was awesome. Um, that, that's where I jumped to the browser again. But that wasn't the real point. The real lesson that I learned from this was the, the collaborative spirit that came out of a problem that I had. Um, it's pretty common uh, to, to, for, to, for someone to mess up a site, something that's, that's either not responsive or it's not accessible or you know, someone just you know, had a little bug or something and it, it gets called out, sometimes publicly and, and you know, maybe, maybe a little bit of public shaming and you know, an epic fail, and, uh, but, but, but not a real solution is, is offered. And, and this was a situation where people that I didn't know, some people that I knew only a little bit, jumped in and helped solve this problem and made my site a better site within hours. This was huge. This, this collaboration was, was just awesome to see. And the second thing is, is that, that I really learned from this is it's okay not to know everything. It's okay to admit, hey, I, I, maybe there's something I'm not really that great at. I will be the first to say that I should not be standing in front of a, a, a group of people like you <laughs> that know a million times more about JavaScript than I do. But what I do know is that I want to learn more. I want to be in this group. I want to be having conversations with people that know more than I do and be able to say, you know what, I don't know how to do this, but I want to learn so that then sometime I can help someone else. And so the, this, this sense of, of collaboration as well as it's okay not to know oh, everything just uh, really leads to this culture that we should be creating. We should be doing more of this. I would love to see more of this in our culture, uh, both in Omaha and just 
everywhere, uh, you know, whether it's open source, whether it's just, you know, a friendly, hey, you know, I, I, I saw that your, your site maybe isn't working the way you wanted it to. Can I help you with this? Um, and just admitting when you don't have something right. Um, thank you very much. Uh, this is where you can find me. And uh, I'd love to talk to you because you're probably a lot smarter at this stuff than I am. Thanks.